Jordan isn't the war-torn, inhospitable country most people imagine. It is a land of beauty and tradition with friendly people who welcome you with open arms. But as every country, there are some things you shouldn't do. Here are 10 things not to do in Jordan. No before you go. Number one, don't ride the camels. Yes, it may seem like fun, but it's actually hard work. If you're elderly or have reduced mobility, you might be nearly thrown off when it gets up. And on the ride, you'll be behind another camel watching how it farts, pees and poos. Number two, don't be late whilst visiting Petra. Petra is a big tourist spot. If you want to explore the ancient city and visit the treasury, the royal tombs and the monastery without the crowds arrive before opening time. Number three, get the Jordan Pass before you arrive. A standard tourist visa costs $56. Entry into Petra costs $71. As long as you're planning on staying at least three nights, the Jordan Pass includes all this as well as entrance to other attractions for just $99. Yeah! Number four, don't go to Petra by night. This is more of a tourist gimmick than a sight worth seeing. It costs $24 and consists of an underwhelming traditional music performance and an equally disappointing illumination of the treasury. It's better to spend your money at the Cave Bar, which claims to be the oldest bar in the world. Number five. Don't think they hate you. Jordan relies on tourism and welcomes tourists. They are hospitable and want you to enjoy your stay. There has been a lot of scaremongering due to Jordan's neighbors, Iraq and Syria. But that's like saying Beverly Hills is full of crime because it's close to Skid Row. Number six, don't pay to float in the Dead Sea. There are several places on the coast offering showers, hotel facilities and food. But if you follow the coast further south, there are places where you can float for free. Number seven, don't try diving in the Dead Sea. Not only is it impossible due to its buoyancy, but its 34% salt content will make your eyes and nose sting. Also, don't swim if you're freshly shaven or have cuts or scratches. Number eight, don't offend the locals. Every culture has certain religious do's and don'ts. Here are some quick ones. Don't point the soles of your feet at anyone. Don't walk in front of someone who's praying and don't interrupt someone who's praying. Number nine, don't refuse coffee or food. In general, it's best not to refuse an offering. As a people, they are very hospitable and take pride in offering too much food and drink. So they may take offense if you refuse. Ugh. Number 10, don't worry about your clothes. They are not as conservative as you think. Many wear jeans and t-shirts. Just don't dress too provocatively and keep your elbows and knees covered. Where do you want to know what not to do in next? Comment below.